Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's Khan's Vlogs. We're back with another video, you guys. So, today's video is actually centered around the new car coming to the garage later this year, the 2022 Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. If you guys missed any of the videos on it um, up to this point, I've got one where we go to the dealership and spec it out, and then I've actually got another one where we head online to the digital brochure provided by Cadillac um, and actually look at some of the options that we chose for our car. Um, so yeah, guys, super excited about it. If you know anything about this car, you're excited about it as well. Um, there's only 250 of them um, that were able to be reserved and we're lucky enough to get one. Um, but yeah, guys, today's video is gonna be a little bit of a shorter one. It's centered around that though, because I kinda wanna keep you guys updated on the stuff that, you you know we hear about the car and just as we're taking delivery of it and it's fun you know to to look around at like what could have been whether they you know wanted to include certain options or you know what they brought to the drawing board originally for these cars and decided to throw out and that's exactly what we got today you guys so before we get into it go ahead hit that subscribe button down below uh, I got lots of good content coming obviously on the Blackwing as well as our 2016 Chevy SS that has an LSA supercharger and a forged engine block you guys it's one beast of a car. I'm sitting in it right now, actually, um, as well as my 2015 2SS 1LE Camaro. But yeah, guys, today let's talk about the Cadillac CT5V Blackwing and what it was originally supposed to come with as far as a powertrain goes. <laughs> Before we get into it, you guys, I do want to thank GM Authority um, for this article that I read um, about the information that I'm about to give you. Um, it's a great site, you guys. Go check it out. I just want to give them credit to the article. They gave me all the information. So let me just start off by kind of refreshing with you guys uh, what power plant it's actually going to come with. So the CT5V Blackwing comes standard with the six-speed manual TR6060 transmission as well as the LT4 engine that is currently in the 6th gen Camaro ZL1, ZL11 LE, the Cadillac CTS-V, and the and the Corvette C7 Z06. Now, in those cars, other than the CTS-V, it comes with 650 horsepower. In the 3rd gen CTS-V, it comes with 640. But in the Cadillac CT5V Blackwing, that same engine is going to be pushing out 668 horsepower and 659 pound-feet of torque. This thanks to um, a better intake system, a uh, different throttle body, as well as a more free-flowing exhaust um, engineered by Cadillac. But let's talk about why they actually made that car have more power. Because you think about it, and the C7 Z06 and the ZL1 should really be like the top of the line performance for GM, right? Well, you see, that is until you remember that the Corvette ZR1 is a thing. So, you know, the C7 Corvette ZR1 comes with the LT5 engine, which is basically an LT4 with a 2.65 liter blower in the ZR1 with 755 horsepower and I want to say 715 pound-feet of torque. Monstrous, right? More than a C7 Z06 or a ZL1. That's big gains. But here's what's interesting is that that same LT5 was originally supposed to come in the CT5V Blackwing. Now, when the engineers went in and actually tried to put the engine in the car, they realized that it would have needed to have kind of a cow hood making the visibility of the car horrible. If you've noticed on the C7 ZR1, it does have a really big bump on the hood that is to make place for that engine. Um, and that same blower obviously would have came on the CT5V Blackwing had the LT5 been included in that car, but they couldn't make it happen um, due to regulations as far as visibility goes. It would have taken up too much of the front windshield. Um, so yeah, that was one of the problems. The second problem that they mentioned, you guys, was that that car could not fit bigger than a 305 on the rear. Um, the 305s with 755 plus horsepower, that might not hook up too well. I'm sure it would be fine if there was good enough tires back there. Um, but the C7 ZR1 comes with even bigger tires than 305s. 
it's just it, that's a lot of power to have you guys would it have been cool oh yeah considering this was supposed to be cadillac's you know highest horsepower car which it is top performing car which it is um it's supposed to be just the king of cadillac the same way that the c7 zr1 is the king of chevrolet and the king of corvette so it would have been really cool, you guys, but looking back at it, the differences between the LT5 and the LT4, I'm not too worried about it. Is it going to have a little bit less power than it was supposed to? Yes, but I do think it's really cool that General Motors actually took the LT4 platform that they've already been using for years and gave it a little bit more power. And I can't wait to see the aftermarket applications for this car. Um, but yeah, you guys, that's about all I have for you guys. Let me know down below. Do you think it should have came with an LT5? Should they have found a way to make it work? Or do you think it's going to be okay with the 668 horsepower LT4 that's going to be in it? That LT4 is going to be an absolute blast to drive with that TR6060 six-speed manual transmission. And I can't wait to get our hands on it. But thanks for watching, guys. Again, leave your thoughts, questions, comments, and concerns down below. Subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. And I'll talk to you guys on my next video.